What we never want to do is get so good at something in our worship that it almost becomes just like we're a machine, just going through the motions. And for that reason, we decided to start with this dua that we make every single day, multiple times a day, at the end of Surah Al-Fatiha, إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. But why are we asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the straight path and what does it mean? Well, first of all, we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the straight path because we want to know what is the truth. And not only do we want to know what the truth is, we want to understand the importance of the truth because there are people that know the truth, but they don't see the value of it. So what good is knowing the truth if we don't see the value of it? So we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, show us the truth and let us see the value of it. Not only that, but remove the barriers or the obstacles to seeing that truth. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqan warzuqna tiba'a wa arina al-baatila baatilan warzuqna jtinaba. Oh Allah, show us the truth as it is manifest and allow us to follow it. And show us falsehood clearly as it is manifest and allow us to refrain from it. Because the truth is powerful, it's so powerful that many times it will be surrounded by lies by those who have something to lose. Maybe it's power, maybe it's prestige, but the truth can be covered. So we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove these boundaries and obstacles so that we can see the truth. We're also asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to act upon the truth, which is really the ultimate thing that we can do. And not just act in any haphazard way, but act according to the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because there are rules, there is a framework in how we're supposed to act when we want to partake in an action in Islam. And then we're asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to keep us firm and steadfast in this action, not just do it once or twice, but allow us to stay firm. You know, uh, the all of the prophets, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala be pleased with them all. All of the prophets had difficulties in their lives. And the way they handled those difficulties was by staying on this straight path. It is a path which is, does not have extremes in either direction. It is not a crooked path, but it is the best way to live our life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, describing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Verily you guide to the straight path. This is the same path that we're asking Allah to guide us towards and the prophets stayed on that middle path, that middle ground. So we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to stay on that path and accept that path with our minds and our hearts. Because there are people nowadays with brilliant minds, but their hearts don't accept Islam. Similarly, there are people whose hearts accept Islam, but they don't use their mind. And the beauty of Islam is we need to have a balance and we use both the heart and the intellect. Imam Ibn al-Qayyim, uh, he used to say that there is no path to happiness except through being steadfast. And there is no path to being steadfast except through the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So does it not make perfect sense that we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this guidance to the straight path to know the truth multiple times a day when we are praying. Also in our information age, we are just overloaded with information. There's information everywhere. You don't know what is true, what isn't true. And so it becomes even more important that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on the straight path, to keep us from being deviated to something which may not be true. And we can make this dua not only in our prayer, but also outside of the prayer. Oh Allah, guide us to the straight path.